Hey gang, uh, for those of you who've been to my channel before, you know I shoot these things mostly live stream style because uh, it's really all I ever do. And when I find something interesting, I make a video about it. So I got something interesting. We're going to make a video and see how hard it is to actually convert a Panda Touch, which you can see right here, into a K Touch. Uh, this video is being filmed 724 of 24. Uh, and Big Tree Tech is getting ready this evening to announce the uh, K-Touch, which is the Clipper variant of the Panda Touch, which is for Bamboo Labs. So I'm going to go ahead, and since the firmware is available, I'm going to go ahead and flash this to the Panda Touch and turn that into a K-Touch. So if you're interested in that, it's something you want to do, or maybe you have a Panda Touch and you don't use it as much with your bamboos as you would or possibly would with a all your clipper devices if you happen to have some this may be fun or maybe you have acquired a panda touch and have only clipper systems well this will help you be able to use those so let's just go ahead and get right into everything we'll go ahead and get started let me first jump to this camera here which is right down here how you doing this is my Panda Touch, and as you can see, it's already set up. I've got, you know, stuff in there. I've got a printer already connected to it. There's some files. Here's your settings. It says Panda Touch. Currently, I'm running firmware version 1.0.3. Um, so there's that. And then, of course, here's your network information. This is where you would go here under the gear because we will need to know our IP address, which is right there. We will need to know that uh, a little bit later here in the process. So let's go ahead and jump back over to this guy. How you doing? Nice to see you. Glad you're here. Um, what we need to do is we need to get a couple of things first. So let me jump over to this screen. We're going to need to go to the github.com slash big tree tech slash capital K hyphen touch with a capital T. So the link for this will be down in the description down below. And in here, you will notice that Pua or Pua uh, has a uh, firmware file in here. It's at the time, it is currently v1.0.0. There are two files in here, and we need both of these files. What you can do is just come back here, click on code, and go to download zip. Or if you want to get just the files you need, you can click on here. Click on the file itself and then click on either i believe raw or you can click the download raw file uh, it's just easier to click the download raw file uh, you want to download and save these two files to your computer i've already done this i have the files saved so we're going to go ahead and skip this part but you want to click on download raw save it to your computer go back to the folder grab the other file because we need the fat underscore k hyphen touch underscore pro dot image and then the k hyphen touch underscore firmware dot bin. Uh, make sure you get both of those files. Once you have both of those files, we can actually go over to the uh, Panda Touch, the Big Tree Tech Wiki for the Panda Touch, because the process we're going to want to follow is is very similar, uh, in the sense that you're going to connect it to your Wi-Fi, make sure it's on the same network as your computer. And then you're going to go ahead and find that IP address, which I had mentioned we needed to find earlier. So I'm going to bring up on my screen here the IP address. What we do is click a new tab. We're going to go to 192.168.0.62 is my IP address for my device. Yours is going to be different. Oh, we mistyped that. So let's try that again. 192.168.0.62. 62 and hit enter and there we go now on this screen if yours looks different you may need to do a firmware update first so follow the steps on the big tree tech wiki on how to update to at least the 1.0.3 or 1.0.4 is the newest one uh, again i am currently running 1.0.3 what we're going to do is we see my network there but we've got two options one to upload a firmware one to update a file and then to reset now, according to this, as we scroll down, the first thing we want to do is update firmware. So we're going to go ahead and go back to this tab. We're going to click update firmware, choose our file. In my case, it's on my desktop. 
And where is it at? Where is it at? Let me find it here real quick. All right, now that we found the folder with the files in it, you'll see that the only file it's first going to give us is this ktouch uh, firmware.bin. So we're going to highlight that, hit open. It is currently checking the file with the pad, uh, the Panda Touch. Sorry about that, the Panda Touch. The OTA has been successfully flashed, and if we go back to the Panda Touch here, you'll notice it says this OTA upgrade interface. Please connect to the Wi-Fi. Uh, your Wi-Fi network that the device contains the image file currently connected to. Once connected, complete the upgrade by typing the IP address into the browser bar on the device. Update firmware using the bin. Update file using the image. So first thing we got to do is connect to our Wi-Fi. So I'm going to do that real quick here. Okay, and while we're connecting, let's wait and see what happens here. All right. And we've got our IP address in there. You can see now, and it's actually changed. So in our case, we're going to jump back over to the web browser, and we're going to change our IP address. We're going to put in the new IP address that we see and hit Enter. And now, since we've already updated the firmware, we need to update the file. Again, according to what we see here, you update your firmware, goes through, and says it's successful. Now, this step that we're following now is right here where it says, Enter the IP address into the browser, access the web UI, then update file. So what we're going to do is we're going to come back here, click update file. We're going to choose our file. And now you'll see that we have both the image file and the bin file. The first one that we did was the uh, bin file. Now we have to do the fat underscore K hyphen touch underscore pro. So we'll do that and hit open. This may take a little while, so I'll come back when it's done. For you, it's a second. For me, it may be a little bit. Maybe not. We'll let it run because it's moving quite quickly now. So here we go. Update was successful. We'll click OK. And let's jump back to this guy. And as you can see, it's now reset. And it says, please select your K-Touch language. For me, I'm going to select English and click Next. There's our IP address already in there, so we'll click Next. And then it says, select your printer or select the printer to connect to and add it below. There's nothing there, so let's click the plus. We'll tell it to manually add a printer. Uh, let me pull up an IP address here for one of my printers. Give me just a moment. All right. So here we go. Let's put in an IP address real quick. We've got 192.168.0.159. And to show you guys where to find that, most of you are already going to know this, but for those who don't and are kind of following along, here's what you're going to do. Like in this case, I went to my web interface for my printer I call the Hulk. It's my switch wire. I click on machine and then under machine under host you can see right here it is wired in. There's the IP address right there. So you'll grab that IP address and put it in. Let's jump back over again. And then as for a port number, I'm not sure what port number it wants us to use so we'll try 80 just to see if that works. We'll hit OK. It says it's in there, so we're going to go ahead and highlight that printer and click OK. It says it's there, so let's click Next, and we'll see what happens. Hmm. Oh, there we go. We have to connect to the printer, which we did. Now we'll click Next. There we go. All right. So again, I, I'm not one for edits. I'm not one for doing anything crazy and I kind of want to do it as I go. But here's the screen. Let's kind of take a look through everything and see how this looks. Um, if we go into settings, we've got Wi-Fi, brightness, 
uh, screen timeout. And let's make sure that these are correct. Let's make sure, let's go back here. Uh, it is showing extruder temps, chamber temp, all that fun stuff is in there. If we go to move axis, we can hit home. And uh, just know that the printer did move. I wish I had a camera on the printer to show you guys. I don't. But the printer did just home. It can do leveling. Um, we've got retract and extrude under leveling. Now it's just running a, a leveling. It's funny that it pops up before it's even done leveling. It just started and went straight to it's done. Do you wish to auto save or to save the leveling? Uh, I'll hit OK. It, it's running the level now, so I don't know how it could be done, but that's interesting. Um, again, we'll click here. Let's go under what's calibration got. We've got end stop status, which let's look at the end stop status. Currently, it's running, so it's not going to give me an end stop status, but that's okay. Let's see. Can we go back? Well, let's do that. Yeah, there we go. All right. And then printer selection. This is where you can add in more printers. Um, let me see if I can get another printer to add in. We'll see how fun that would be. Uh, let's go ahead and All right, let's go ahead and add in another printer. Why not? So we'll click the plus sign and then we'll go ahead and click manually add printer IP address. Two dot one six eight dot zero dot. And this one is 54. Click OK. Port number 80. Click OK. Click OK. Now we select that one and click OK. And then now we're going to select that one. Do you wish to connect to this printer? We'll click OK. And then if we hit back, now we should be on that printer. So let's go ahead and I'm going to hit Axis. I'm going to hit Home All. Hmm. There we go. Yeah, and the Rook is moving now. So my Rook 2020 is moving. So now we're connected to that one. And I'm sure if we go back under printer selection, it's just a matter of picking what printer you want to connect to. So we'll go back to my switch wire, click connect. And then we'll hit the back button. And there we are back on that. Uh, let's see if we tap on extruder. Now we see all the temperatures have expanded down so we can can we click on it? Yep, we can click on each one of those fields, change their temperatures. Uh, obviously, the chamber temp, I don't have a heater for that. It's just reading the ambient air. And then under fan, oh, well, look at that. We can control fan speed. I did just hear the fan spin up, so we'll turn that back down. Tap anywhere on the screen to get out. We can even set have presets in here for TPU, PETG, PLA, and ABS. Uh, if we go under settings and let's look under system info, showing the printer there. Please enter the IP address. Okay, so that's how you would connect to that. Go back again. Let's go to color. Ooh, we can select red or blue. So those are our two color options. And when you hit the dot, it does nothing. So there we go. Now we set it to blue. I know it doesn't look blue on the screen, so I apologize for that, but yeah. So there's a quick little video. Let me jump back over here. How you doing again? Nice to see you again. So there's a quick little video on how to update your Panda Touch to a K-Touch. Not a very hard process. I hope the video is not too crazy scrambled. Hope it was pretty easy to follow along. Know that you watched me do this in the video, continuous with only a few pauses and no cuts. Um, so other than finding the file, really it's, it, you know, once you download it and finding the file, it wasn't too difficult. I do hope that you, if you use this process and it does work for you, uh, that's great. Tell me about it in the comments down below. And hopefully you guys will watch the stream tonight. The Big Tree Tech does showing off the Clipper Touch. And if you have a Panda Touch, 
it's been sitting collecting dust because maybe you just don't use as much as you thought you would maybe this will be a way to breathe a uh breath of fresh air back into it uh that being said though guys thank you very much for coming and hanging out watching this video and i hope you guys have a great day stay out of trouble stay out of jail happy 3d printing and all the things talk to you guys in the next one